SCP-173 Object Class Euclid Moved to Site-19 in 1993, the origin is as of yet unknown. SCP-173 is constructed from concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Personnel assigned to enter the container are instructed to alert one another before blinking. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull or by strangulation. In the event of an attack, personnel are to observe class 4 hazardous object containment procedures. Personnel report sounds of scraping stone originating from within the container when no one is present inside. This is considered normal, and any change in this behavior should be reported to the acting HMCL supervisor on duty. The reddish brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. Origin of these materials is unknown. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi-weekly basis. Item SCP-173 is to be kept in a locked container at all times. When personnel must enter SCP-173's container, no fewer than three may enter at any time and the door is to be relocked behind them. At all times, two persons must maintain full direct eye contact with SCP-173 until all personnel have been vacated and the container has been relocked. Well guys, that was SCP-173. It's kind of a well-known one. It's the uh, statue, if you couldn't guess it. It will only move when you uh, when you when you're not looking, and it will kill you. So yeah, that happened. Thought I'd give this one a read as it's more of a well-known one. If you have any suggestions for me, please let me know in the comments below. But uh, let me know what you thought of this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. Subscribe, support this channel, and if you do, hit the bell to get notified. Join my Discord if you like, the link to do that is in the description below. You can talk to me, many others, and enter giveaways that I do from time to time. But, as always, thank you so much for watching.